Hey everyone, it's your buddy, it's your pal. I'm Karnak, and this is Serenity Wargaming and Explanations doing another Star Wars Armada uh, content. We're doing a look at Admiral Yularen. It is a commander for the Republic faction in the game. So Yularen here, uh, how can you tell it's a commander? If you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you will see that there's no icon there. So that's how you know it equips to essentially commander, flagship, uh, Admiral Yarlin, if you look in front of their name, they have a little dot or bullet point, signifies that they are unique. You can only ever have one of them in your fleet. So, for example, if there's an officer version of this card, you would have to choose either take the Admiral or the officer. Like, you couldn't have both. Bottom right-hand corner of the card, you'll see the faction they are assigned to, which is the Republic. And then next to that is their point cost, which is 24 points. Very reasonable card for... A very unique effect in Star Wars Armada, I feel like. So, as I always do, I just read through the card and just give a quick recap of what it does. And then I dive into some further details and how-tos of like how to utilize the upgrade. Okay, let's start. When a friendly ship resolves a squadron command, if it spent a squadron token, it may activate one additional squadron. So that's the first effect that this card can do. The second is when a friendly ship resolves a repair command or engineering command, it may spend engineering points on the following repair effect. Repair squadrons spend two points to choose a friendly squadron at distance one to three. That squadron recovers one whole point. In a nutshell, what are these two effects doing? The first one is, hey, did you spend a squadron token? Great. Not only do you just, you know, instead of activating just one extra squadron that you get with spending a token, you can activate two squadrons from spending a token instead. Um, and the second effect being, hey, did you resolve an engineering command? If so, then you also get this extra effect, which is you can, you can fix up your squadrons uh, by putting some whole points back on them if they're within the specified range. So essentially, very squadron-focused commander and being able to activate additional squadrons, and then when they actually get in combat, fixing them up so hopefully they can last longer. So let's get more into, and that's the nutshell version of how these work, so let's get into more detail. Let's talk about the first part. So again, when you resolve a squadron command, you can do that either by spending just a dial or just a token, or the dial and token together. So if, for example, you spend just a dial on resolving the squadron command, you're not going to get any benefit from Yarlin. It's mainly for spending the squadron token. So you really want to try to get squadron tokens, command tokens on your ships, so that way when you do the squadron command, and then you also throw the squadron token in there, you're going to get bonus squadrons to activate. So just more squadrons to activate just gives more power to your individual ships for pushing more squadrons out in a squadron uh, command activation for your ship. So it is an increase of firepower. And if you only bring Yarlin just for this benefit, I, I absolutely feel like they're worth 24 points in this regard. But the second, the second part, a lot of people look at that and be like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter if I fix my squadrons or not because either the enemy is going to be dead or my squadrons are going to be dead. Well, yes and no. So this repair squadron command, I do want to point out that uh, you know it's when a friendly ship, so it can be any of your friendly ships in your fleet, and it's treated just like, for example, if you were to do something like uh, regain shields or discard damage cards. You know, it's an it's an effect you can do multiple times. It's not a one time only deal. So. You could choose one squadron, spend two engineering points, you know, fix up one, choose another squadron, fix up another squadron. When you look at the squadron's health that are available, you'll see a lot of them, you know, are like, you know, five, six, or seven, like for your, your unique. Can you do uniques? I didn't even look to see if you can do uniques. Nope, just any friendly squadron. So that gives a huge more benefit of survivability, especially to like... Anakin Skywalker, either in the Y-Wing or even the Aether Sprite. I mean, he's pretty hard to, to take down in the Aether Sprite, too. Uh, or if you're using, like, escort squadrons, like Axe or Kickback. Uh, 
I mean, you're looking at a, a huge way to benefit your squadron so they last longer, especially like V-19s. Five-hole V-19s are fantastic. They're an extremely great escort squadron. And, I mean, you even start looking at like Y-Wings with six health. So, I mean, you can you can buff their health back up to where if they're kind of in the danger zone of like with only three health, get them back up to five. Like, it just takes more of their squadron attacks to try to, to pin down and kill your squadrons again especially v19s they're just so cost effective so there can be a great way to buff your squadrons uh, but again it's hard to do to have a single ship doing both because uh, you want to do a squadron command for dial but then if you're doing engineering you're not getting enough points typically to fix so it's kind of like this unique balance um act of like do you fix your squadrons or do you just activate more of them and just kind of is really going to depend in the moment what i really like about yarlin is like it makes some ships that already were great at doing squadron commands like the vendor 2 for example as you can see here it's got a squadron value of five um and if you throw extended hangar bays on it or expanded hangar bays that puts it to six but then if you have a token, that's seven. But then as we know, if you get to do an extra squadron, that's eight. You could throw eight squadrons in one ship activation. You pretty much, most players bring eight squadrons generally. You can just throw all eight in one activation and just kind of punch stuff in the face. Oh, I did want to mention there's one clarification. Uh, and it's what we already know. Somebody asks, hey, does this actually allow you to activate one additional squadron? Um, if you're doing dial and token, again, I answered that. It's like, yeah, you can do another additional squadron. So again, if you do dial and token, the token allows you to do, instead of just only one, it's two squadrons. There's still a lot to say about running small ships like the Consulars, which only have the one squadron value, or even Peltas, and just doing squadron tokens on them. And I've seen some players, to great effect, run these Peltas doing a squadron token only on them, so they'll still activate two squadrons, and then they're still using their high engineering value throw repair uh you know they're they're revealing a repair dial and spending a squadron token so they're fixing their squadrons and then they're still activating two squadrons which is a very when you're activating squadrons you typically want to try to do them in pairs because you're really going to get the most benefit because it typically takes anywhere from two to three squadrons to kill one squadron depending on again how many dice you're throwing and how high their hull is and how many defense tokens they have etc there's kind of a, a balance there but yarlin is kind of a sleeper hit. I haven't seen a lot of people utilize them very much, but there is a fleet that was going around for a short period of time where, you know, Clone Captain Silver was helping give these Venators, you know, some, some navigation ability. Um, it's running Tranquility, which again is only helping to boost its ability to defend itself. Uh, and again, it's running, you know, a Pelta and Consular, which again, if they've got uh, squadron tokens, they're still throwing squadrons out. The Pelta typically is trying to help keep things alive. Uh, but they're running this Anakin Ahsoka combo, which is strong. And then it's just a, a slew of, you know, kickback acts and V19s just to keep Anakin and Ahsoka alive, just so they can keep throwing all that damage out. And it's just a very, it's a very efficient fleet. And it's, again, with the Venator throwing eight squadrons in an activation, that's just woof. I mean, it can... It can be very hurtful, especially with V-19s. They're still great at bombing because they are throwing the black die, uh, which is, you know, 75% chance of damage. Even if it's just a single damage, the damage is damage. Like, it's still going to be very helpful. And again, with Anakin and Ahsoka, they've got adept for rerolls, uh, especially for Ahsoka with that blue dice. Um, I mean, you've got high chance of just plinking even just eight damage, single damage on a ship, especially even like a Star Destroyer. Like, you're going to strip two whole zones of shields. Like, that's... And then you follow up with, like, your Venator attacks. It's it's very, very strong. And I, I'm excited to see if after this video more people are more interested and open to running Yarlin. But for myself, uh, I don't play Republic terribly too much. I've not used them myself. Uh, this is just my observations of them. I don't have any other crazy things going on with them. No crazy interactions. They're really straightforward. Again, I think they're really reasonable their point cost but hey if you have some unique ideas about yarlin or you've seen them used uh you know what's been your experience leave some comments let's get the let's get a dialogue going so appreciate you guys looking at the video today and hey uh oh one more thing 
is that I will be playing Fox tomorrow at 8 o'clock Central uh, p.m. We're doing uh, the Hondo Anaka Celebrity Deathmatch Tournament, and this is round two for us, so really excited to be playing. And you're going to be seeing that being live streamed tomorrow. So appreciate you watching, and hey, you guys have a good one. Quick shout out to the sponsors of the channel. Firstly, to Otherworld Events, regardless if you're needing assistance for event managing, planning, organizing, how to even start, or just need specific uh, ideas for what it is you're doing that you already have a plan for, Otherworld Events can help you out. Second, to Admiral Tater Ship Shop. Admiral Tater Ship Shop, while specializing in Star Wars Armada miniature items, also has X-Wing and Legion items. If you're looking to really get some great looking acrylics on the table, whether it be you know holders for your upgrade cards or tokens or acrylic tokens, and most importantly, you just want a perfect range ruler with no flaws or errors in it that's gonna give you exact measurements every time, highly recommend Admiral Tater. Uh, it's the range rulers I use at tournaments. I know they're cut perfectly, they're gonna range perfectly, and I'm gonna get that best measurement every single time. Also, just look at everything they have available.